Bismillahirrahmanirrahim <clears throat> This is our third lab of introduction to remote sensing Now uh, we have covered some basic uh, tools, basic uh, image adding and some basic functionalities of Redas Imagine in the first two lab In this lab we will be working on joining the viewers that is linking the viewers and some basic change detection using the swipe tool and uh, we will be working on the spectral and the spatial profile tool and uh, we will be focusing then on layer stacking and then we will be finally concluding our lab right so uh, starting with I have a manual prepared in which uh, I have this content and uh, I have this data set mentioned over here so we will be starting the first thing which we have already covered as well and that is to link two viewers simultaneously right so for instance launch your Eldas Imagine software you have to click on add view create a new 2D view right you have two views now uh, the next step what you have to do is add 2008 A image or B image like we have added uh, 2000 and 2010 image right let's uh, add this one from here 2008 A image right it is displayed over here and in the second one what you have to do is to add 2008 B image right so both of these images they are now added now uh, the next task is to link the views you can click this button to link these two views now advantage of linking the views is when you will use uh, move in uh, when you will use inquire to move the cursor in one window it will automatically be moved to the same location in the other window right for example here it the uh, cursor in the other window has been moved okay this is the basics of uh, adding the views and linking the views next what we have to do is to use inquire right and after using the inquire we have to uh, note down the pixel values uh, x location y location and the values we have to note down right for instance I am clicking right over here my x and y values they are displayed over here right I can uh, change it to lat long as well for example and I can change it to decimal degrees as well just click on this and convert it to some other system okay let's use this lat long what you have to do is to enter these lat long values over here there by copying these values from here just copy this value and enter it into x and similarly enter this value in y okay next what you have to do is to note down the 2008a pixel value now here 2008a pixel value for example it is 1852 just note down here that it, it is 1852 then what you have to do is to note down the pixel value in 2008b right just click on this image here it is 0 0.1852 0 0.1852 right you have to repeat this process and take at least 10 to 15 uh, values right for instance the next value is let's suppose 100 and uh, 1200 right so it may be of 0 0.12 uh, write this right so you have to take 10 values and then you can create a graph out of these values right using Microsoft Excel what is the advantage of uh, doing pro repeat uh, doing all this process is that we can uh, compare the two values right so uh, we will wait here and enter over 15 values right and then we will create a graph in msx okay i have filled up some values over here what you have to do is to copy these two columns whatsoever values you want to add you can add here just copy them and open them in microsoft excel which i have done uh, once you have copied and paste okay i repeat this again this paste okay these values will be pasted once the values are pasted 
and what you have to do is to select these two and insert some uh, graph from here for example i want to insert this scatter plot so this graph it depicts that a linear relationship is existing between the two uh, bands right one is for example 2008b uh, here is 2008 amh so this is the basic of uh, using uh, two images uh, and performing some change detection right okay and the next thing what we have to do is uh, go for swipe tool which we have already covered in our lab 2 that if we have two layers uh, here i have if you can open uh, 2000 and 2010 images right and go to the home section and use this swipe option from here right so once you have the swipe enabled you can uh, here it is this tool is being hanged wait for a second okay here it is we recheck our layers okay it is 2000 we recheck over this layer that is not being displayed 2010 imagery let's uh, remove and add it again okay I think now it will be fine yes it is yes okay use this swipe option you can simply see or visually interpret your image in one case we do not have the flood and in the second case we have the flood this thing we have already covered in the previous lab right so here you can stop it and you can move it by dragging this so this is a basic tool in which you uh, can uh, see the visual interpretation. The next tool we have de uh, dealt with already spectral and spatial profile tool. Uh, just, uh, just we get a quick revision of both of them. Okay. Open EDAS image and close this. And we go to the multispectral. And we have seen different option. Here we have the spectral profile tool. What the spectral profile tool does it allows you to view a specific point in all the bands simultaneously for example i want to view this information this point which i have created profile one right so here a graph is generated which shows me the reflectance in six band all together i can check which band give me maximum reflection which give me the minimum reflection similarly if i want to know the profile of this point I can just click a point and that will be mapped if of this point another profile will be mapped now it might be vegetation because it is giving a more response in the fourth NIR band right so this is a method of spectral profiling just close it down and see the special profile tool which we have already covered for example if you want to uh, here we have the special profile tool just ignore this error click on this line and just draw a line anywhere on the image right once you have the line drawn like this you can just open your tool and see that how uh, the pixel values they are changing across the line right starting from the origin till the end how your values they are uh, changing so you can create a special profile tool as well so till here uh, that was a quick revision of what we have done in the previous two labs and uh, we have now more clear idea what these things uh, does and how it they happen now the next task that is to uh, perform layer stacking what is meant by layer stacking okay what is meant by layer stacking uh, it is simply when you download the data your data is uh, arranged separately each band is a separate file you when you download your image uh, I will show you up here for example, this is my file in introduction to RS linear
here it is now when i downloaded this sim i have these seven bands which are separate files right what i want to do is to make a composite of these seven bands that is meant by layer stacking right so what you have to do is to uh, go to raster spectral layer stack and perform layer stacking this is my edas image and interface just go to raster right uh, let me show you how one band looks like and how composite band looks like so we will have a clear understanding okay i am adding band 1 2 and 3 and click okay and let's click fit to layer 2 window now you can see that i just added band 1 band 2 and band 3 from the folder now each of these band is simply a uh, one band imagery with uh, not a color composite and only one band available so a, a nice visualization and that cannot be applied here band combinations cannot be applied here right so similarly you can see the band 2 and band 3 as well right so what i have to do is to stack these imageries and go to the raster section and in the spectral menu you have layer stacking option right here we have spectral click on the spectral in the spectral menu you have the first option of layer stack right just click the layer stack and a window is going to open right now this window is of layer stacking which we have just opened from spectral layer stack right what you have to do is to individually enter each band for example here we have band 1 just click on add similarly band 2 just click on add and you will continue the process band 4 add band 5 add band 6 add and band 7 will be added now one thing very important that when you have downloaded some data set so you uh, for example if you have downloaded landsat 8 data set so you must stack the bands which have the same spatial resolution right all the bands which are of 30 meter you must only stack those band you have to save your output file for example i save it as linear stacked right and just click okay and now once you have your uh, bands specified seven bands output specified here you have the out output option of data type right so uh, it's up to you that what what data type you want to set float it will be the output will be in the points right unsigned 32 bit it has a different representation so i will be using float double now there is a function of union and intersection right union uh, that combines all the area uh in the stacked imagery uh, and the intersection it takes only the common area in our case we have all the bands having the same extent right so uh, uh it, it may be of union may be of intersection both may have the same effect but if your some band they are covering large area greater area and some they are in the small area in that case you can use this two options let's click union or let's click intersection and then click okay right once you click okay this process will be executed and here you can see a window that will show you that uh, the process is completed okay till the process is being completed make sure that you stack the bands of same special resolution right in case uh, you do not specify the bands of same special resolution that may cause some error okay we have going to open this imagery from recent linear stacked here it is now first when we went to this tab multi spectral there was only pen chromatic tab and one band now we have a colored band uh, colored imagery that is stacked imagery we can apply different band combinations over here and uh, this is now much better than individual band imagery right so this is our uh, layer stacking uh, imagery right so i hope uh, till here we are clear with the some basics and some uh, layer stacking functionalities as well let's uh, give a revision of layer stacking it is simply uh, creating a composite or color composite from an imagery right 
we specify individual bands here all the seven bands we have specified we named output file and then we specify the output float and then we use the union or intersection and clicked ok so this is how you perform your layer stacking